an old uh, Edo period of, of Japan, you know, the firefighters would tattoo either some some type of, of animal or a symbol to protect them against, you know, against fire or against, you know, so it's more of a like, a, like symbolic thing or if they were in a Yakuza, I think a tattooer would get to know the individual and he would, he would, uh, he would tattoo what he thought they, they needed or what is, is them. It's, it's been around for a lot, lot longer than any other type of genre. Maybe you know, I'd say so. Tribal type type style has has probably even been around a lot longer than that, you know. But I think with uh, with the warrior, with those you know the styles, they I don't know exactly how many years, but at least a thousand, if not longer. I think just. Uh, tradition of it, the aesthetics of it, the, the longevity of it, the, the basicness of it, you know, less is more, you don't gotta have so much into it where it could hold on its own with just the background and the motif and it really is timeless, you know? I would say there's a lot of mythology behind it that's like really attached to their culture, you know? Um, a lot of things have, like the demon on my back is a Japanese Buddhist figure. Um, so a lot of that's like really attached to their culture and also just the style of how, how there's a lot of black and everything with the background and like the whole scale of everything. It takes a little bit longer to do that because it's all by hand. Um, some people say it hurts a little more, some people say it hurts a little less, I think it depends on where it's at but I'll definitely be getting some Tabori because it's something like I'm very into the whole style of Japanese tattooing and that's how they started doing it. You have to learn from uh, a master of that and they don't really just teach anybody, you know, you have to get really into that stuff in order to understand it. I know a lot of Tabori artists. I never had it done myself, but I just know it looks a little a bit more, more painful than an average tattoo does because they really get in there and. It takes a while, but I think with the right artists, uh, they can make it go really quickly. The more accepted here, but more accepted on East or West Coast, of course. As far as like Tokyo or in, in Japan, it's, tattoos aren't aren't very. I mean, they're accepted, but it's still a little bit of a, of a taboo as far as you're not going to see people with you know with their with their sleeves done just just walking around. You know, Tokyo or Osaka, it's still a little bit hidden, you know, even tattoos don't really show off their stuff that often, you know, so it's real strange that it all came from there in, in a way, but yet, you know, they try not to uh, express it in their, in their culture so much, which, you know, they should be more proud, but it's still a little bit linked to a Yakuza in a way, or some type of uh, individual that isn't that disrespected certain like societies. I have cherry blossoms all over me, which are a big kind of symbol in Japan. Um, I think they signify like kind of death and, and rebirth and stuff like that because the cherry blossoms are only in blue for like a little bit in Japan. It's like a, kind of an iconic symbol of Japan. Um, and you see those a lot in Japanese tattooing. You know, they go with certain types of characters and stuff like that. I just always kind of latched onto that Japanese style with the background and like how big it is. And, how easy it is to see and how well it ages. The one on my back is uh, actually the central piece of the demon came from uh, a book from a really famous Japanese tattooer named Horiyoshi Three, who probably one of the most famous Japanese tattooers that did like the old style of Tomori and stuff like that. Um, so it's kind of a painting, the demon is like a painting from, from one of his books and I brought that to Bill to have that image. Uh, or something similar to it tattooed on my back and then he added the dragon and all the background and stuff around it. So yeah, I just always wanted uh, a lot of like Japanese style tattoos just into the imagery just kind of appeals to me. Um, and so yeah, I just brought that to Bill and he kind of did the rest.